Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, my name is Albert. I'm coming to you from uh, Hooked Up Fishing, uh, my new fishing channel that I just started. Um, I'm fairly new at this uh, video thing. I have three other videos on my uh, fishing channel um, of me fishing, but I'm not really speaking. Uh, like I said, I'm new at this, so uh, bear with me if I repeat some stuff or if I get a little nervous. <laughs> so pretty much uh, this uh, YouTube uh, channel is going to be about, obviously, me fishing. Um, and I'm actually starting to shark fish uh, soon. Hopefully get get out there this weekend with a, a buddy of mine, uh, Mark. Um, I just want to show you guys my uh, little arsenal that I have right here. Um, I would love it if you guys give me some tips um, on uh, what I can do better, what uh, equipment I can get better. Like I said, I'm just starting at this, so I don't know too much about the shark fishing stuff. Um, uh, so let's get started. Let's uh, I want to go ahead and start off with one of my reels that I just bought recently. It's this uh, Senator Senator nine on I don't know if you can see that Senator nine on right there. Um, it's spooled. I bought it at Bass Pro Shop it, the price on it was a one 150 I believe with taxes it came out to 160 162 with some change uh, Sorry about that guys like I said, I'm new at this. <laughs> um, it's a, a like I said, Senator Nine Knot. It's pulled with a 80 pound mono. It's got 519 yards, I believe. Um, I went ahead and bought this, like I said, at Bass Pro Shop for 162 dollars and some change. It's my first time uh, shark fishing ever. I got into the sport. I saw a couple videos on YouTube, and it looks just really fun. I do a lot of fishing. I do a lot of fishing, uh, game fishing, reds, trout, snook, and all that. Um, but I wanted to get a little heavier, I guess, uh, bigger fights, uh, cause you know we love the fights. Um, and I have it. Um, this reel, the Senator Nina. Take a look at it one more time. Very, very, very big reel. Alrighty, um, I uh, paired it up with this uh, Ocean Master. Ocean Master uh, reel. Rod, I'm sorry. That I got at Bass Pro Shop. Also, um, thanks to my buddy. Uh, shout out to my buddy Elazar for hooking me up um, with this uh, with this rod. Um, it's a six foot rod. It's um, eighty to one hundred and thirty pound. Uh, so and it's got uh, these uh, metal ones. The only reason it was there was one for one hundred and fifty, but it had the plastic these plastic uh, reel seats. And I heard a couple uh, saw a couple videos that actually said to get. The ones with uh, these uh, real seat, not the plastic ones, because it possibly can probably uh, break. Um, so I have it on this Ocean Master, like I said. It's from uh, it's made by Offshore Angler. And obviously, it has the little thing on the bottom for uh, the harness, so you can hook it up. And uh, the harness that I have. Oh, also I have this other reel. It's my my dad's reel actually. Um, it's my dad's Level Wind 309 pen Level Wind. It's going to be on a beef stick. It's going to be a 30 to 50 pound, uh, 7 foot rod. The beef stick, I bought this at, I believe, at Johnny's Chevalier. It was like 30 something bucks. Uh, really inexpensive. Uh, it does not have the thing, though, for the harness. So, uh, this reel, I won't be taking it out too far. Um, it's got some line in here, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it out and uh, probably put it in some braid so you can get some more line in there. Um, any recommendations that would be great, just go ahead and put it in the comments below. Um, this would be uh, the reel that I would just go out maybe like 150 yards, maybe uh, 100 just uh, for uh, not not really shark fishing. Um, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Alrighty, and that reel I bought it for like 60 bucks at Walmart. It wasn't it wasn't too expensive. So let's go ahead and move on. Let me show you the uh, leaders that I bought off this guy at the Bronzeville Fleet Market. Alrighty. Um, these are probably not the best leaders to use for shark fishing. I have some for uh, redfish uh, or uh, any other game that's out there besides the shark. Um, like I said, I'm new at this. Go ahead and leave me some tips on what kind of leaders, where I can maybe possibly get those leaders at um, for the shark rigs. Uh, so I have this one. He didn't really tell me the specs on it, uh, like the pound of how much it is, but I'm uh, that guy pretty much, he said he knew what he was doing, so I'm going to go ahead and trust him with that. And uh, so it's probably about probably about four four to five feet. Um, it's got some uh, some mono, some really really thick mono, and then it's got some wire. 
some wire at the end, maybe about a like a foot, foot and a half, and it's got this big old hook right here. And the big old hook. If y'all can see that. Pretty big hooks. Um, so this is the one I'm gonna be using. If I go out this Sunday, this is probably gonna be the one I'm gonna be using for uh, the shark fishing that I'm gonna be doing. There you go, there's the mono, and then it goes on to the wire, and of course, the hook. This hook is very, very sharp. Um, and let me go ahead and show you the leaders that I bought for the, the bull reds or any other game fish, like I said, besides the shark. Uh, excuse me. All right, like maybe some jacks, some drums, maybe. Whatever's out there, like I said, besides the shark. It's going to be right here. It's about three and a half feet, maybe. Three and a half feet. And, of course, it's going to be a smaller hook. Right here. There you go. Excuse the quality on this video. It's on my cell phone. I'm working on getting myself a GoPro and maybe a drone in the process. Um, like I said, so I got two of these. He sold them to me pretty cheap. These were like, I think he sold me these for like $250, um, I believe. And then he sold me this shark one for, I believe he sold it to me for $4. So it, I didn't think it was too bad. Like I said, I'm new with this, so I'm not too sure um, on the prices on that. Maybe I got ripped off. Maybe I didn't. I don't think so. Um, so let me go ahead and put these back. Let's just go ahead and put this aside real quick. I'm going to go ahead and show you my uh, the harnesses that I bought. Um, they're, they're okay, I guess. I got this uh, harness right here. It's by um, that brand right there. Not too sure how to pronounce it. Um, right here pretty much goes like this on your waist. And then it's Velcroed from the back. So, just Velcroed from the I bought it at Johnny's True Value. It was like uh, 11, uh, 12 bucks. So it wasn't too bad. Like I said, I'm just a beginner, so I'm just going to buy some stuff. I did see some on uh, Amazon and YouTube. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Amazon and eBay, uh, some harnesses. And those were like 100 bucks, maybe. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I end up realizing I should have invested in one of those uh, when it breaks, I guess. And then I bought this, uh, shoulder harness from uh, the brand I'm guessing it's a fright train stand and fight systems um, there you go. I want to show you guys the uh, brand real quick there you go and uh, pretty much like it says it's a shoulder harness you throw it onto the back I'll show you guys real quick like this and then you get the reel hook them on right here And there you go. And then you put the rod right here and you just fight. You already. Let me put this back. I bought it uh, off this guy off of uh, Facebook, actually, for uh, for 20 bucks. It wasn't too bad, I guess. Uh, but I probably will up uh, will end up investing in the in probably those like 80 to 100 dollar uh, fighting belts. Uh, but like I said, I'm just a beginner, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try out the fishing, uh, the shark fishing. Um, hopefully, like I said, God willing, this weekend. Um, and let me know, uh, please, please let me know. Give me any tips. Any, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And uh, go ahead and check out my other videos. Um, one more time, like I said, I'm just a beginner. Uh, so my videos may be a little... I guess... Um, cheap, I guess you can say it. Um, but like I said, I wanted to go ahead and try this and... Also, like I said, I want to invest into a uh, GoPro and a may considering maybe buying a drone after the GoPro. And I just really, I'm showing you this nine on because I really, I really love it. It's it's so big. I'm used to just game fishing reds, I'm not using a uh, big old reels like this. But I just can't wait. Um, one more time, please. Any tips you guys have for me? Go ahead and leave them in the comments below don't forget to like subscribe and uh thank you for uh following me peace guys